do a stupid show or something already. All right. Okay. Okay, bruh. All right. Oh, we you see my little brony? You're the ew. What? Oh. My oh, look, chat room. He's got a little brony. Hold on. My look at that. little brony. <laughs> I your little brony. I just want to bite it. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, he's, in, he's in a cage. <laughs> That's freaky. Freaky. He's freaky. in a little plastic container. I cannot get to him. <laughs> you should go to a... Do they still do that? Is, is the uh, brony thing a thing still? Brony? I'm sure it is. I'm sure they still do it. Oh, so you can go if you wanted. You could go to a convention and do all that. Totally, dude. Okay, all right. Shows what totally I know. Down with that. Shows what I know. Which all is right. nothing. No, I know nothing. Jon Snow. All right, here we go. It's time. We're going to record this show, and we're going to do it in three, two, one. Another Stay a while. This is The Boop Show, episode 224. It is September 30th, 2019. Yeah. Hey everybody, welcome back to The Boop Show. I'm Scott Johnson with Brian Dunaway. He is looking... Oh, hi, Scott. You look so good with your camera now. Man. I do. It made me realize how crappy my trim looks on my door. Oh, hey, yeah. Get on that. What's going on with that? You painting? What are you doing there? Uh, yeah, we're still painting in here, but it doesn't matter. I'm going back to my other office soon anyway, but mm. I, I'm going to get my green screen like probably in the next week or so. so oh, very you nice. you won't even see anything, and it'll just be like... Very nice. I'll be in front of a volcano. <laughs> As it was always meant to be. All right. Uh, hey, we're here. <clears throat> we got a show to do. Uh, we had a lot of stuff we've been playing. We got a lot of things to talk about. So we're just going to get right to it. So sit back and enjoy this boop show. Whoops, that didn't work. That was a bummer. I had that perfectly lined up. All right, the games we've Aww. been playing uh, this week. Well, really, the last couple of weeks. And uh, as you know, about a week and a half ago or whatever it's been now, I picked up a uh, Nintendo Switch Lite. And uh, oh, yeah. been very happy light, with it. Yeah, I got it. I like it a lot. I think that thing is cool. And uh, I would recommend it to anybody who didn't get the Switch in the first place and is looking for uh, a more portable version of the Switch, which is all I ever used my Switch for anyway, was portability. Um, there are going to be some out there. But who, do you ever miss the you ever miss the click? I mean... Like when you put the little pads, it goes... No, shink. no. I don't miss No? That. No, not really. Because every game, yeah. when you start it, there's a little click li logo and that sound happens. Oh, that's true. So it's fine. Uh, I really like it, though. I think it's a cool device. And it's so cool that my two kids, who both have jobs now <laughs> uh, and are fully employed, decided to go ahead and scrape together their own cash and pick up their own switches. So now we have a yellow. Oh, nice. We have a yellow one, a blue one, and a gray one hanging around the house. And wow! Did you get a good like a three pack deal, or is they all like one ninety nine a piece? All one ninety nine a piece. Everybody did it separate Sweet. of me. No one even told me they were doing it. They oh yeah, did it. Well, yeah. And uh, I probably may have been able to get a deal. I don't know, but anyway, well, you know, yeah. maybe. So now we can all play like little network games, like uh, you know, Overcooked Two, that sort of thing. And uh, that's a lot of fun. You can do that just kind of all sitting around. They still have. Uh, they're still pretty lousy about actually having any kind of family sharing program, like. Phones you can have uh, on iOS, you can have up to five people all using the same apps you paid for, all using Apple Arcade, one subscription, all using Apple Music, one subscription. Like, they're pretty good about that stuff. And there's similar services on Android where, you know, you're not locked, excuse me, into, uh, you know, one phone, one purchase, that sort of thing. Uh, right, right. And so with with uh, Nintendo and the Switch in, in particular, they don't really have an option for that. So... Uh, if you want to use my cartridges, no problem. Pass those around. Let's play those, right? But if you've got a digital right. download game, you're not playing that unless you own it, unless you're the one that did the download. And even if I right, let them use right. my account, we couldn't all use it at the same time. So kind of a bummer, kind of lame. Nintendo really should come up with a, I don't know, just a more friendly family sharing solution. Absolutely. They have really been dragging their feet with that too, man. Yeah. Kind of bugging, but uh, I I have 
faith they'll get around to it so anyway here's what i did though uh you know got the new zelda game my daughter kifed it she's been playing it uh so i downloaded uh steam world heist ultimate edition uh, this is a game i already played and beat on uh steam and also on my ipad uh that's how much i love that game i bought it in two places back then even and i love this game came out in i think 2016 something like that uh right it's, a, uh, it's in the Steam World universe. If you've played either of the two Dig games, Steam World Dig 1 or 2, you'll, you'll know the, the universe that we're talking about here. It's basically a universe of robots getting shit done. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> instead of digging in this game, uh, you are, uh, you, you, you're in a spaceship and you are the captain. And you've got a bunch of dudes working for you and you're recruiting them over time. And your job is to hop aboard these derelicts and pirate ships and get loot and take out bad guys and it does it in this turn-based kind of XCOM style that right. is a really fun loop and I love this game and I was happy to get it here because I feel like this is like the perfect marriage of game and device uh, just a perfect little handheld Let's sit there and play this game for hours sort of thing and uh, and I love it now uh, some may be saying well Scott they've already got another one of these out or another one in the world out and they do they have a game called right, right, steam world right. uh quest the i forgot the name Gel, gilgam mech something gilgam mech Gil, 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 <laughs> for god it's like hand of gilgam gilgam mech like robot mech get it instead of gilgam oh Gilgamesh. that's right we talked about it. didn't you play that one already yeah i have played that i have that it's a good game uh i have that also on the switch and they just make really great games in genres you already kind of know, but they put their own spin on it, and they set it in this world, and it's really, really fun. So, uh, don't have a ton more to say about it, except if you haven't heard of the game, then you've missed out. It is, it's a wonderful game. It was great when it came out. Even better here. Um, but I'd, I'd, rec I'd still recommend any version. So, if you're like, oh, I never knew this was a thing. Can I get this on Steam? Yes. Uh, it's currently on sale on the Switch. I don't know about Steam uh, thing. They do sales here and there. Uh, for this game so you may be able to get it cheaper wait elongate your conversation i will look is there any deal yeah you should see if there's any deal on steam for world heist. steam steam world heist yep heist which i hope there's a sequel being prepared heist. for if they're going to make a dig sequel which they did uh and it was great uh they should make a did steam you, world heist uh sequel there should be a two what, what did you get the dlc uh, it came with this because this version is the oh, ultimate you edition. Got the so deluxe. That's right. You said you got the complete or deluxe or whatever it was. Yeah, right? whatever they're selling on Switch is what you get. And you get all of it. It comes with it. So Right now, Steam World Heist is not on sale anywhere. It's $15 everywhere you look. No. Right. However, mm. however, mm. put it on your wish list because it's been as low as $3.74. It's a good deal. I mean, I paid. I only paid like seven or eight on the Switch, but the still the deal might be over. So I don't know. Yeah. Well, they they've had some pretty decent deals on the Switch lately. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, for sure. Uh, a lot of them too, which is what I'll tell you about in a second. But uh, it's among my favorite small indie games. Uh, they're also a developer I just keep my eye on. Every time they make something, I'm excited because I know it's going to be good. They capture the essence of what they're trying to make in such a cool way that. It just how, gets, how in your, do you get gets into your like, head. Uh, oh, so excited that I'm actually like you like uh, you know like blow it. Do you like blow a gasket? A little and, like, bit. Steam starts a, a little like, bit. Going yeah, out. yeah. That becomes my Steam World. Exactly. Uh, this game so also has a kind of a image space and form. So yeah. you're saying image and form games? You're down with these guys? Oh, I'm totally down with these guys. Yeah, they're awesome. And they, and this game in particular goes for a very much steampunky, but also kind of space western, space trucker kind of vibe. And um, right. you'll get like kind of Firefly uh, tone from it and that sort of thing. Whereas Dig was much more of an adventure style thing um, and, and also equally good. I mean, honestly, I can't tell you. They don't make a bad video game. You can play all their games and be happy. Um, but please, please be making a, a, uh, a, a sequel to this because I will buy it day one. Day oh, one. Scott's but that, but already that, got his Steam World money. He's got his Steam World wallet. All set to go. Yeah, now, here's the other thing, though. I forgot to mention this. So, uh, oh, I'm, oh, I not, not only played that, but I downloaded, like, ten little games. And they were all things that were weird things I'd never heard of on sale. And some of them are really cool. So, I would just say, sometime if you got a Switch, if you haven't looked in there lately, 
Um, not that it's the best interface because it's not. The store interface kind of sucks. Oh, no. It's just a huge the bucket. Store sucks. Yeah, big bucket of titles. And why can I only play? Why can I only get Hulu for the Switch? Why can't I get Netflix and Vudu? And I understand not having Amazon Prime. But come on. Well, I figured maybe they figure you got that somewhere else and they don't need to hurry up or something. I don't know. Well, of course they do because I like to play this in bed, but then I got an ACMI cable next to my bed that can hook it to my projector. And I'm like, man, if I had Netflix in here, I'd just plug it right on in, just dock her in the docking station and just be watching me some Netflix. Well, but nope. <laughs> I could see you want to do that with a the regular switch that would make sense but this thing you're not you don't even have the option oh so. well, i am talking about the regular switch but yeah y'all wouldn't want it for yeah that, i don't want that, that little, for this thing that little that little thing that little handheld thing you got this really i mean it's really cool but let's face it it's mostly just the coolness of the color is it is it a lot lighter than oh the, yeah it's uh, totally lighter switch? yep lighter yeah, thinner longer be. battery life uh actual d-pad there's a lot of reasons to be happy about it you're yeah you're an actual d-pad um so <laughs> i've been playing demos too and i'm with you i've been i've been downloading all kinds of stuff on on the store and i i downloaded a demo called my big sister demo it looks pretty cool we're gonna have to check that oh, out oh my week. big sister demo i don't know yeah. what my big sister is what is that you know what you know what a big sister is you don't have a big sister my big no i don't uh sister about name. a little sister it's kind of the same thing but they're larger and older than you okay is that how it works my big sister <laughs> yeah. by strange games or Stray stranga games R rattleke games is that it or stringa that's it stringa games that's right looks like some grab the games looks like some anime bs to me it well it's it got anime in it but it's not very animated i mean it's got uh, uh let's see here so it's more like you know little puzzles and stuff and I just like this little loading screen here. It's pretty nice. I gotta see. Right yeah, you get your switch right there, do you? Yeah, it's a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. Oh, too close. Too close. Oh, backing up. Backing yeah, up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Looking sideways. Crooked. Oh, all yeah. right. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> I look forward to playing that next week. I'm actually thinking about picking up the whole game. It was only like uh, ten bucks or something. I had but, not uh, heard of this before, but it looks. Uh, it reminds me of that. Oh, chat room. You have to help me with the name of this game. It was very popular. And... I was worried it was gonna be too anime but it is not at all okay it is just it's just straight up storytelling you know exploring top down adventuring puzzle solving i don't like this blinky anime girl uh, a gif on the main page i don't like her oh my gosh what is bought what is wrong with the blinking anime girl it looks only six bucks too that's just super cheap you can't argue with that well you, you can could. but you shouldn't but but no, I agree. There's a lot of good deals on there, and that's what I did. I went and found stuff. That, I found something that was normally ninety nine cents. It was ninety oh, yeah. ninety percent off or whatever, and it was a cent. Yeah, it cost me a penny. You know, uh, I, I I don't know about you, but you get the little credits and things, the little coins. Yeah, I get those too. I apply those all yeah. the time. I yeah. bought a couple of games just for free with using the coins. Yeah. It's like, oh, this qualifies for hundred coins. Sweet. Yeah. Yeah, it's, like, a, it's actually kind of the way they do that is pretty decent. I feel like you get coins all the yeah. time, but uh, it is cool. And uh, heist, I got uh, one more question perfect. before we get off the yeah. switch. Get off that switch because I have because I have thought about it because I'm getting back into my services, my games as service. Uh huh. And I know that the switch has finally fully released their Nintendo online service thing. Are yeah. there free? Are there free games? Yes, that uh, that are worth playing now. Other than because they they had like a bunch of just old retro stuff. I'm like, ah, I can play that. Uh, yeah, well, fun. I mean, you okay? So that's funny. This may or may not work for what you're looking for, but um, for me, the big ones would be uh, Tetris 99, which started out as a single mode game, but now there's a ton of modes in it, um, right? Including like a uh, area network kind of thing, uh, playing with friends co-op. Uh, versus people playing against 98 other players playing solo like all that stuff's included now if you have the service you just get you just download that game and have it and play um if you like any of their back catalog um when the original service hit what a year and a half ago whatever it's been um right, right. they released the nes collection and have been adding to that all the time uh, but if that's not your jam and you were really hoping for the 16-bit stuff, uh, this last or the Switch Lite launched the same week as Super NES Library, which is also now uh, in there. But it's not it, it, again; it's not it, it, in its entirety. They'll add to those as time goes on. But I'm playing a game of Link to the Past, a game of Mario Super Mario World, and a game of 
Oh, uh, Metroid, Super Metroid, all kind of oh, at the same that time. Might be, that might be worth it. Yeah, it, uh, to me, it's totally worth it. Um, it's only three, what, three bucks a month or something? Some yeah, like dumb... three ninety nine or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, like I said, I wasn't impressed the first time I looked at it. I was like, yeah, I don't really see anything here worth my time. Well, if you're going to play a bunch of multiplayer stuff, like if, if you you know love multiplayer Mario Kart, it was kind of a must-have to get that service. Uh, yeah. Uh, but if you don't, care about multiplayer stuff then it's you know may not be worth it but for me those libraries are worth it i love that look i'm not gonna i'm probably not gonna touch my switch except for some few indie games between now and the time luigi's mansion 2 comes out and once that comes out i'm stopping everything this is the game i've been looking for really yeah i I didn't know that i had no idea you were a big fan of you like the old gamecube uh gamecube original you're talking about Yes, I played that. I've played it completely through at least maybe three times. I definitely two times. Might have made it a third time. I'm not huh. sure. And also, I I don't know if you've done if you went to the Dave and Buster's or whatever arcade place you guys have out there, but they got a Luigi's Mansion arcade game. Mm-hmm. We played the crap out of that. That was a lot of fun too. I just love that whole luigi's mansion i just i love luigi fighting ghost it makes me happy well i'm glad to hear that i was never a fan of the original but I, also, what? I didn't i just didn't care that much i don't know why i was like i don't know why i don't know why i didn't give it the time of day i just kind of was like Neh, all right whatever this isn't mario proper and they launched that console with it it was a launch title and i remember thinking yeah. well you need to have a real mario game at launch what is this i've gotten over that now like right <laughs> i feel like I, I would be open to what luigi does next uh, with his ghost sucking abilities. Mario. Oh my gosh, I remember that being so annoying. Mario. I love that. That was I just I would go to sleep to that. I was like Mario. Wow. That that's your ASMR, is it? <laughs> Luigi it saying is, Mario. It is. It is. what it what it gives the wave patterns in my brain. It's this. Yeah. Well, he's got kind of a, a Ghostbuster vibe going, which is cool. I I I will I will try to be open to this next one. I just didn't give that first right. one much much uh, love. I loved my GameCube, mind you. I love that thing, but right. And and I also played on the 3DS. The chat room was asking that, and yes, I did. I did play it on the 3DS. Yeah, wasn't that well. just a remake though? It, it was, but it was on the 3DS. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's like I did that with uh, uh, Zelda: Docarina of Time. I did that. No, the Docarina of Time. Yeah. Yeah, because it was uh, it was redone. You know, it looked good finally, and so I played that on the 3DS. You know what I want? I want a 3DS library now. So you just access all, access all those games for your three bucks a month. How about that? That'd be cool. There you go. It's not going to happen, but that'd be great. Your, uh, your lack of Luigi's Mansion uh, disturbs me. I will. I said, like I say, I'll check it. And when when we get around to that, I'll. When's that out? Like October sometime, right? Uh, yeah, it's like I think it's at the end of this month, actually. Okay. Oh, was it a oh. whole new game on the 3DS? All right, they say it's not a remake. That that well, uh, no, Luigi no, thing. Not. Well, you said it was a remake. I believed you. It was you. I Hello, believed. Mr. Don't listen, Don't, to listen to <laughs> Don't listen to me. Don't listen to me. All right. I'll play it. Whatever. We'll see how it goes. I'll, I'll yank your chain as often as I can. Tell me about Mario. Speaking of annoying people, tell me about uh, this goose that annoys everybody in Untitled Goose oh. Game. Oh. If you have had your if you've had your Twitter turned off, you may not have seen this week's game, Untitled Goose Game. I picked this one up on the Switch, but you can pick it up on the PC or the Mac if you care to. You get to play as a goose. You get to go around a small town and harass all of the townsfolk. Uh. What more did you need? I'll tell you, Scott. I've enjoyed this game. I'm going to go ahead and put my cards all out on front and say this for me is the indie game of the year. This is a genre changer for me. I can't wait for all the further things that I can play as in in a simple form to just solve some puzzles and also just entertain myself to no end. I've heard annoying, that this is annoying basic, and honking. It's like Hitman if Hitman was a dick go, uh, goose. Dick Goose. That's a good way to. I mean, any any animal that you can imagine, this kind of a jerk, uh-huh. a kind of a dick. Yeah. That this is going to define the dick, uh, animal game genre. It's absolutely going to do it because uh, I don't know. I'm I'm telling you, is you, you sure you get to solve puzzles? You're a goose and you don't have any hands. You've got wings. You can't really fly in the game, and uh, the style is very simplified. It's very charming. Yeah. It's very you know. It's a good look. Uh, just, it's a really good look. It's it's just very simple, 
uh, large forms that are just flat white colors or you know green colors uh and the character animations are hilarious it makes you just laugh so much because the uh the townspeople that you are harassing uh-huh. they're just trying to live their lives man yeah they've got some pretty good ai in those guys too because they they kind of they're really aware of where they're at and what their goals are and their goals are of course to impede you from getting through each section each section comes with its own to-do list as most goose have in their back pocket they got a little sheet of paper that says okay i need to do this this and this yeah. also by the way it's written in cursive I can't read cursive. No, I can't. I can read it fairly well. Um, <laughs> so you'll, you'll immediately when you show up in the town, you, you honk your way in. Yeah. Uh, you, you pops up and gives you a to do list. And the to do list is stuff like uh, get uh, get the, uh, the 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 farmer's hands uh, get get the farmer wet. It's not actually a farmer. What's he called? They call him something else. He's uh, a gardener. That's the it. Gardener. They get say the get the wet. get the gardener wet. That might be one of your tasks to do, and you have to figure out. Okay, I see a pond. I see a sprinkler. I see a you know a, a, a water barrel. I see many, many different things. How can I get this fool to get himself wet? Hmm. And that's the whole rub. So you had to figure it out. So you go around, and sometimes you can you can make people move by honking at them. Sometimes you can uh, you can grab something that you know is something they care about, and they'll chase you around. Uh, and that's how you lead these people around to get to the point that you want which is your own world domination because you're the goose uh. and the goose is loose. And I know Scott, you didn't want to play this, <laughs> but I'm telling you, no, it's not. I don't want to play it. I absolutely do want to play it. I just, be charmed. I, I, it took off so hard and fast with, Oh geez. What'd you lose there? What was that? Oh, uh, it was your pony. <laughs> Brian's got his, Pony's uh, back. he's got his, my little pony brony thing up on his mic and it fell off my little pony like it does anyway that's right here's why i didn't want to jump right out and get it because i did think about it and it's only 15 bucks pretty much everywhere so uh yeah. my hesitance came from a which platform am i, am I get, gonna get it on should i stream it if so I'm not getting on the switch because i can't stream it there i mean I can stream on the old switch i guess why can't you stream it on your switch because the new switch doesn't do it doesn't have the oh, output it's an hdmi right, oh you, don't, you right. didn't keep your old switch did you get rid of your old no, switch? no it's still here i just i just don't like this idea of swapping <laughs> just... switches <laughs> it's the so family that switch so the old full full version switch is might as well just be a paperweight it's i mean trash. it's still i mean I, the reason i kept it and didn't sell it or something was for that reason i figured i'd, I'd stream with it but if I was going to do that, right. I might as well just get the Steam version of this game and not even bother with getting it on the Switch. Like, what's the point? Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess so. If I'm just going to so. stream it. But if I'm going to play well, it I'm from telling my own... you, is, you'll, you'll be playing it because you can't... I don't think you can just stream this game because uh, some of the tasks are a lot of experimenting. Uh-huh. And I think if you tried to stream this it's the, to its fullest, I think people would get bored. I streamed for a little while with this myself. And it's, uh, uh, I had already played some of the levels, so I was able to kind of you know, kind of walk through in the areas that I knew that worked. I don't think, I don't know. I don't know if I want to watch somebody struggle as much as I struggled trying to figure out the problems at hand. Yeah, no, I get that. I mean, and that's not my main motivation. The main thing was it was so meany and everybody's just talking about this yeah. damn goose game. And I just thought, okay, we'll let that settle down. A little I'm bit. too cutting edge. I'm not doing this. <laughs> I'll wait for the next one. I don't want to be I'm colored by the hype. I just want to, you know, I want to play it. On I, you know, I, I'm usually with you, Scott. I'm usually kind of like, you know, I don't want to be involved with all this hype. Oh, and you call it duty. Who cares? I don't want none of that. I'll play some indie games. But this game, uh, I this is one of those things where I think if you don't play it, it it's going to be like, oh, did you watch Breaking Bad? No, I didn't. Oh, well, I guess it's too late for you to watch Breaking Bad now because times have changed <laughs> no, and, it's still uh, worth seeing breaking bad right now you can totally well how about okay let's how about let go of the sopranos then you know hey did you see the sopranos back in the day because it was an amazing experience but someone starting to date on the sopranos would be like mm, this is okay i guess really i think that's still no. it's really good the sopranos you think so i think they're terrible I, examples i don't know that reason why i say sopranos is i never watched it so there you know now i think you, know you have to go back to... you got to go back further you got to go like uh you never saw the x-files what's wrong with yeah, you? yeah there you go upset. x-files in some ways holds up, but if you didn't start back then, you're not going to have the same adoration for it. I think that's right. true. All I right. think you're going to regret if you miss this. I think you're going to regret it. I'm I gonna, think it's, I'm gonna, I think I'm it's something that it. needs to be experienced. I'll get it. I just, the hype is so loud that 
<laughs> it really is. It annoyed me a little, and that's a dumb thing. I know. I'm just no, sometimes it's not. sometimes it's over legitimate. sometimes over hype from you know the the collective annoys me, and I just like well, I got other stuff to do, so I won't do this right now. Right. But I think I should play it. It does look great. Um, it seems like my kind of thing, but it very it really does seem like Dick Hitman. Like you're right. Hitman. It really is. It pretty much is. Yeah. Which is fine. It's, it's I really, love Hitman, so why not? Oh, yeah, and it's really neat because you'll think you're going to... You start getting a little cocky, and you think you can do anything. And as you go along, some of these characters are more aggressive than the others. So they'll there's some characters that can run a lot faster than you, and some that can really push you around, and it's like you just can't get around them. <laughs> and uh, so you feel all, you know, you feel all like, oh, I'm invincible, and then you're running across somebody, but... Uh, it's good. Why and does then, the, and, and, why does the gardener yeah. run like he's got a giant potato up? His everybody, butt? everybody runs with bent knee. <laughs> uh, I guess because they're trying to get down to your level. Oh, the the kid, the boy later on that you come across is the best. He is like because he reacts, he reacts so uh, he just reacts so poorly uh, when you when you honk at him. He just freaks out and he just runs away. But he runs away with this high stepping footy work so my my camera just went off yeah but your yeah. camera went out um, i think you have that power it. thing your 30 minute yeah i do so it's back on now probably um so yeah. <laughs> is it yeah it is excellent so yeah so he's running around everybody run, you're right everybody's running around like they got poop in their pants yeah <laughs> <Can't poop. laughs> it's pretty funny all right goose game it's untitled funny. goose game get it it's available now i'll probably end up with on the switch because i'd rather just play it i am oh you know the other thing that bugged me is i heard a stream or a um a speed runner beat it in four minutes Oh, a speedrunner. Wow. Okay, let me think how you could do that. How I could you do you that could. in four minutes? Because four minutes makes me go, well, I'm not spending 15 bucks for four minutes of potential content, even though I won't know how to do it in four minutes. Do you know what okay, I mean? Okay, so speedrunners there piss me is, off. Ugh, it makes me mad. Right. There is, there is an end goal to the game, but that's not really uh, the fun of the game. Um, What's the I end goal? Give away with the, Oh, you don't want to say? Well, you can kind of you can kind of see it at the beginning, but I don't want to give it away. But I guess you're what gonna, do you think? You're going to help should farmer. You're okay. trying to help farmer you're, full pants empty his pants. No, okay. right? If you're listening and you don't want to hear what's going on, just mute me for just a second here. So I, this this is what's happened. So the the end game for the goose is he's going to a mini replica of the town, and he is going to grab a bell. And he has to make it all the way back to his original home, which you can see when you first start the game because there's like a ditch behind you and there's a bunch of there's a bunch of bells already in it and you're okay. just adding to it. Okay. So uh, yeah, so I mean, uh, I guess if you if you just ran past everything, probably I guess there's probably a way uh, to cheat it because there are certain areas that kind of allow you to kind of shimmy places maybe you shouldn't be. So I would I wouldn't doubt it, but. What fun would that be? That would be so stupid. I know, but I wish I didn't know that someone did it. I wish I didn't right. know. I shouldn't have read it. Well, I, I bet you this. I that see to me the me the goal is not to get the bell. That is just some. That, all the bell does is unlock all of the to do list and more. So you got a standard to do list that you can do, and then there's hidden things that you don't know about until you get the bell. And then once you get the bell, you go back and do the hidden things. So. Uh, like I said, if 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 they define it as getting the bell to the ditch is finishing the game, then yeah, I guess you could. But no, otherwise, no, you're not going to run it for four minutes. All right, because four Here minutes was like what? Freaking... You're not going to knock everything off the checklist in four minutes. It can happen. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I never want to speed run anything, but whenever a speed runner, you know, they'll play a game that took me nine hours, and a speed runner does it in twenty two minutes. I get so mad. Right. I'm like, really? You're just gonna, it's just flaunting at my face that I could have done something fast. At least three, let's say three hours, I could have saved six. Like I start right, getting to the right. math in my head and I start getting in my own head and it's bad. It, it does. I agree with you. I'm the same way. Yeah. It's annoying that I do that. All right. Uh, hey, speaking of games that are brand new, just came out. Nobody's brand heard yet. of this before. Just kidding. Not true at all. Uh, you know how Epic had the uh, the Batman Arkham stuff for uh, for free? Do you know that whole deal? Yeah. Well, they they did on Batman Day. Yeah, on Batman Day, and so they went and they got uh, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, and Batman Arkham Knight, along with the three Batman Lego games or Lego Batman games, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and they put them all up for free. And I went, well. Duh, of course I'm going to do this. Like, why wouldn't you? Even if I don't yeah, download them, I'm just going to go sign up, and they're mine now on my account. So there you go. So I did. 
And I already had Knight on PC. I had the other two on a 360 back in the day. So I thought, well, this is cool. I'll have all three of these. And I played a little bit of Asylum and was reminded pretty early in Asylum how... Ooh, it, let me tell you something. Unreal Engine 3 used to be the bomb. It used to be the most I, beautiful yeah. engine in the world. Look at it now, especially in light of like Unreal Engine 4 and other competing engines. It's not great looking anymore. It's uh, not the best, right? Now, but I should say though, and this is the good thing, the the con or the actual um gameplay of that first game is still awesome. It's 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 that's an amazing game. Uh the voice work is great. It's got some, you know, glitch and chunk and some other problems, but f- for the most part that's still a groundbreaking game and it and I've said this on other shows, but it represented that time when um it, you you realize that a superhero game or a movie tie-in game or a comic book tie-in game or any of those kinds of things, you realize all of that stuff was you could actually make good games. Like it could be good. Right. Um, I felt like Batman when I was playing those. Oh, they're so good. I freaking love mm-hmm. them. And I'm a I'm a huge fan of the third one in particular because A, it looks good. It only it was just 2015. It's not that long ago. And it looks still looks great. Um but B, it's basically a Mad Max level because <laughs> the whole place is yeah. it's empty. There's nobody. Everyone's left except the crazy people, and they're running around the streets in cars with like mounted guns and stuff. With you know, and they're all freak shows, and it feels mm-hmm. like I'm playing in a Mad Max world. It's like Mad. It's like Batman had to fix, go solve Mad Max or something. Um, <laughs> I really like this game a lot, and so I started playing it again. So I'm playing it again. That's all. Just all I wanted to say is the Batman I'm Batman Arkham Knight is great. The other games are great too, but. I this third one's my fave, I think, and part of it's because this is more polished. I know there's a lot of there's complaints to be had. The Joker st- or the Riddler stuff's kind of out of hand, but the the overall game is just so good, and I love it, love it, yeah. love it, love it. So I've been like playing. I said, I, I've 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 rarely played a superhero game that I felt more like I was playing the character. That 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 felt like I was literally playing the character. Yeah, and it really got in your head. And now, and since yeah. these games, there have been. A multitude of good tie-in games, not just superhero games, but other tie-in games that were that are excellent, and I think they all owe a bit of of a debt to this this game and this series. This right. it just it it just made it possible for that stuff to happen. So like we all rave about last year's Spider Man, and rightly so, but that game owes a lot to this series. I think like was right. these guys just broke so much ground and and just changed the way we thought about these kind of games and the combat's still incredibly satisfying um mm-hmm. i just i just really like it so that's arkham knight the third in the series came out in 2015 at the time to some controversy cuz P- yeah the pc version was kind of a, a bummer when it came out there were lots of technical issues for a lot of people i didn't have any at the time so i didn't understand what everyone was talking about but Plenty of people had issues. What are you talking about? They had to return to the, you know, they had to get, kind of make make good on it, and they did. But it was very controversial at the time. People were flipping out and were mad. The console versions were fine, but the PC version seemed like it was getting short shrift. Um, it's all runs great now. I don't, you know, there's no reason not to play it. Yeah. Um, and if you missed it the first time around, it's well, it was free. If you didn't get it during that free week, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, the, they, they've got new games out now. Yeah. So. It's really you good, missed though. it. It's really good, and uh, it is um, probably a thing I'm going to play all the way through again because I like it that much. Really? Yeah, I like that game a I'm lot. I'm excited about that. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, now you're going to talk about a game that I got a code for as well, and I can't wait to stream this a little bit. It's mm-hmm. like they know how big of a water world I am, a fan I am over at this little development company. So, Brian, tell me about Flux. Yeah, pajama. All right, so Pajama Llama Games, yeah. Stan over there, the Pajama Llama Games, who's done artwork. I haven't gotten into a deep discussion with it, but he did let me know that he had done some artwork for this uh, this game. Yeah. It's called Flotsam. Flotsam, that, that maritime term for crap in the water. <laughs> <laughs> yep, stuff in the water. Stuff in the water. So, like debris. And so this is one of this this is a this is kind of a upbeat uh, simulator. Uh, where you scavenge uh, garbage out of the ocean. Mostly the part that I played was mostly uh, getting wood and plastics out of the ocean so that I could continue to build a floating platform uh, for my uh, for my drifters. It's for my when people. Kevin Costner as the Mariner comes by and he needs to trade, <laughs> a, trade a jar of dirt 
for something else. True. Yeah. True. It's a post-apocalyptic world yeah. where everything is a water world, but is it's not dark like that. It is a it is a uh, is a lighthearted romp in post-apocalyptic world. I agree. Uh, so yeah, but you know there's still real consequences because this is a resource uh, management survival sim. So you have a limited amount of resources and I've streamed this yesterday for a little while. I had a lot of fun with it. Uh, you'll have to send out your drifters. What you do is you move or pan a camera around your area where you start at and you can direct your drifters by a buoy uh, out into the water and define an area for them to collect flotsam or debris. And it'll tell you when you mouse over top of it, if there's a lot of wood there, if, if there's a lot of, uh, plastics, other type of things there. And so you just, you just set it, forget it, send out your, you know, a sign, you know, one, two, three, when you first start of your drifters to go out there and do some collecting, they can do it all automatically. Uh, they bring it back to your, your little floating Haven. Yeah. And, uh, the drifters are little dudes who di literally dive in to get your stuff. They really, they do. Yeah. They jump in, they have, they're wearing like a big plastic barrel on their back and they just, they kick it and swim and they get over there and they grab the stuff. Now this is the part that you may not like, Scott. I'm not sure. I know, I know you're not huge into the survival aspect of some games, huh. but you do have to watch their, uh, their statistics. So you'll, you'll click on a drifter or, I mean, or you'll, uh, go to the drifter menu and you'll look at the person. You'll tell what kind of health they have. They may be hungry, tired, uh, and they may need some water. And so you have to start meeting those needs by constructing uh, new elements. Like you have to have a water purification system or you have to have a fish drying rack because you got to catch the fish, but then you got to dry them out so you can eat them uh, and to feed the people. And uh, also the wood that's in the water is wet wood and you need dry wood for certain things. Like uh, you may have to fire up something to uh, to make another item. And so that's what you have to do. It's kind of like this whole resource management, juggling, survival tactics, building in a post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. And once you get through all that, you also get to go to some islands and do some salvaging. Yeah. And make even bigger stuff. So you're just you're just trying to sprawl out. Now, unfortunately, I'm not a good steward of my resources. So I lost pretty early on <sighs> the the one time I played. So yeah. I, uh, <laughs> this is an early review for me, yeah. uh, but, uh, I, I could not seem to, I, I collected all the resources and I made all the wrong decisions and I built all the wrong things. And eventually, uh, people started dying. Yeah. <laughs> and once that happened, it was over pretty quickly. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, if, if you manage it good also, by the way, uh, this is a pure 100% recyclable, uh, products. So if you build a, water bed a bed for your people to sleep on you can disassemble that let's say you have three drifters one of them dies now you only need two beds you can disassemble and get every bit of resource back no disassemble no disassemble no disassemble <laughs> and then you can build something else like a boat a fishing boat because you should have thought about that sooner and there my, my, my pony again <laughs> you should have thought about it sooner because uh now uh, you know sam sam the swimmer is about to die because you didn't feed him yeah it's uh it's it's i played this about as much time as you did so far i fully intend to play more i think it's a charming fun little thing and i do i don't mind city builders that have those kinds of survival aspects if they're you know they're clear about how i can do them and if i'm smart i can do it right and i'm not being high and strong because oh no there was a storm and it wiped out half your cattle guess you don't eat this year like i don't like those but i like i don't yeah. like a lot of randomization i like if i if i'm smart about this then i'll succeed and so far, that's how right. the game feels to me. It feels like a city that's builder, but like in wor but in water world, basically. Um, right. Uh, like you said, though, it's a it's like a happier, more go lucky sort of vibe to it. It's not right dark and hey, we destroyed the world, but it's gonna be okay. Look at all these plastics and woods we have in the water. We're gonna make a new and better world. We're yeah. gonna fish. Yeah, it's cool. And it's gonna be awesome. It's cool. I like it a lot. Yeah, uh, I made some just bad decisions though, because like one of the things you have to do is you have to you only got so much surface area around your uh, your original facility, and so you have to like start attaching all of these all, all these you know things to it, like the water filtration and the drying racks and everything. And I was not making very good decisions in how I was spreading everything out because you have to build like like you know walkways, yeah, uh, and 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 go outwardly 
and I made some poor decisions, <laughs> poor design. Decisions. I don't want to live where. You're going to be like that one guy in Waterworld that has the paper. You ever seen paper? Be right. that guy. You ever seen paper? Yep. We're all going to die. Yep. We're all dying out here. All right. So there it is. What'd you name your place, by the way? Oh, I just left it to the default. It was uh, like a uh, clamshell I called it, or something. It was, I, I called it soggy, soggy butthole. Soggy, so, soggy butthole, soggy bottom. Yeah. You can name it anything you soggy want. Butt- uh, yeah, you know, could. It's also, I uh, uh, should mention, it's a early access joint, so it's available now. You can go get this now. I played it a couple of days before it actually hit early access, but it is what? F- what is it on early access? 15? On Steam, it is twenty two forty nine on there sale, you go. 10% off. Yep, it's on sale even. And so far, so good. I think it's a really nifty idea, and it's cool to hear yeah. from uh, someone on the inside who uh, so kindly offered those codes. So huge thanks to them for that. All right, Brian. Uh, Just a quick mention. We're both playing around with Apple Arcade. I am as well. Yeah. I have a favorite game there. Do you want to know what it is? What's it called? Yeah, I want to know. My favorite. Oh, you're buzzing like that one time. Oh, oh, Dad, come in. Hold on a second. There you go. It's better. Well, (laughs) I hope he's all right. Where'd he go? Oh, he's back. That's better. How about now? Now it's much better. Oh, good now. Told you I need to get that contact cleaner. I keep forgetting. Yeah, well, see, here's your daily reminder. Get that contact cleaner, yo. Uh, There are a handful of games I really like so far on it. However, I have a favorite currently that I'm playing the most, and that is this weird one called Sasquatch. Dang it, that is so funny. Yeah. It's, I was about to say the one I'm playing is Sasquatch. Yeah, it's you know what it's a lot like? It's actually a lot like your goose game you described. It really um, is. In some ways. You're stealthing around as Sasquatch in this old camp. Um, but I'd actually say it's a lot closer to playing Animal Crossing, weirdly. Um, yeah. I because you're collecting and gathering, and and you can fish, and you can do a lot of other things. But the goal is keep your Sasquatch alive, do a bunch of stuff during the day, go home and sleep at night, don't get caught by the ranger, get a buy a bunch of stuff from a hey, raccoon. Boo-boo. There's even a raccoon you buy shit from. That's basically... He's such a, it's a, he's dude, such a jerk, too. He is a Here's jerk, right just like he's a jerk in the... In the freaking Animal Crossing, uh, Animal Crossing. yeah, it's always a yeah, damn. Yeah. He's always just such a butthole. But anyway, I bought all the most of the first level stuff in there, and I'm now disguised as a person, and I'm racing a car around town. Oh, and other people you're don't further know. Further along than I am. Oh yeah, people don't even know who you are because you have a human disguise at one point, so they don't know you're Bigfoot. <laughs> um, it's my favorite, I think, so far of the lineup. It's very good. Yeah, I prefer it with a controller, uh, which I have paired up to it, and uh, I kind of wish that was. That's a, what I do. I wish this game was on Steam. It's not or on uh, Switch. It's not though. It's a exclusive to Apple Arcade. But uh, really strong stuff across the board. Uh, probably see more of those pop up on this show here and there when we find a good one. But uh, did you? Did I show you my controller for my? Oh, look at you! IPhone. What is oh, this? A little controller. Also, how old is that phone? phone? What version of phone is that? That's seven. Oh, it's wow. not that old. All right. No, well, I mean, there's only been eights. 10s, 10 R's, right. uh, 11 since then. <laughs> right. I'm teasing you. It's fine. It's still a good well, chip in there. You, uh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It works just fine. Yeah, it's good. What, what? Tell me the brand of that controller mount. That's pretty cool. Uh, let's see. This controller is, ooh, I don't know. Let me hold on a second. Let me pop the back off here. Show the chat again, too. I want you guys to see this. This. Thing. Look at that. Yeah, this is just a little controller, but it comes with a little uh, it comes with a little bracket that you can put on it, and you can put your phone on it. I can't remember the name of the brand, but uh, it is pretty cool. It simulates uh, touch, so you can assign because there's a little app you can download, and uh-huh. you can assign uh, these buttons to do uh, simulate touch. Oh, different interesting. Parts of the screen. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. cool. There's Oddmar. I oh, Oddmar's also that that came out later though, didn't it? Yeah, I actually purchased Oddmar about a week before Apple Arcade came out. Right, but the Apple Arcade version is not even there yet, I don't think. Yeah, um, I don't think it is either. This is that Oddmar is a fun game, man. Yeah. You should pick that up if you don't have it yet. I'm excited about that coming. Um, okay, let's see. Sorry, I got crap going on here on my phone. Um, yeah, that's just. One oh, of the maybe games. if you had a seven, then you wouldn't be so sad. Well, maybe, maybe. Uh, no, it's it's a there's a nice lineup in there, and for the price, you really can't beat it. I'm still in the free month, and I'm playing some pretty rad games. There's a lot of I have a lot of questions about what this looks like a year down the road. Like, are there a bunch of new games? Is the split good enough for those developers to keep their games in there? Uh, what happens if they don't want to have their game in there anymore? Like, I have a lot of questions, but 
We'll we'll see how it all goes. Right now, it's pretty cheery though because the games themselves are pretty rad. They I was I have been very impressed so far with the with the lineup. Yep. I've enjoyed it, especially for the was like uh, I did thirty days free, but it's like uh, four ninety nine after that. And yeah. I'm gonna do it for at least Pro- another month. Oh, easily. Yeah, I'm I'm not yeah. I'm not gonna quit yet. I really like it. All right, let's do this. It's a me, Mario. <laughs> Time for us to play guess my game. We both have sound clips of old head. games, and uh, we try to see if either of us can guess what the game is. I'll start with mine this week, and it's going to maybe be obvious. I don't know, but I hope not. And I'll, and by the way, I didn't do any actual gameplay of it because it would have been a giveaway. So instead, this is the intro song, okay? So you have to figure out what this is. Very old. Here you go. Um, is it Old West? Nope. <laughs> no idea. Uh, it sounds uh, it sounds familiar, but for some reason, all I can think is like Beer Tapper or something like that. I it's, I know that's not right, but that's the right era. But it would you would be incorrect. That is Super Mario Brothers Two, the oh. music for Two. Now, as soon as that I, yeah, gets, yeah, I mean, that I gets going it. pretty quick, and it starts to sound like. Uh, Let's see, I have a version. This right here. Oh, yeah, I would have spotted that. Yeah, yeah that, that comes through later when you start getting into the game. But, yeah, Super Mario Brothers oh, yeah. 2. Weird game. Weird freaking game. Uh, they never seem to re-release that one anywhere. Uh, I don't, you know, Nintendo didn't make it. It was a third party who made a, a platforming game. It wasn't even Mario to start with. They ended up just skinning it and calling it Super Mario Brothers 2. I still think it's really fun though. It had a lot to, a lot of cool ideas, and uh, would have been neat if they um, carried that forward somehow. I don't know how, but somehow it'd be cool. Somehow, anyway, it. how can you do it? How can you do it? Uh, all right, here's your clip. Let's see if I can figure out what it might be. Whoops, there it is. Ooh, I like this. I mean, I'm in love with it, but I don't know what this is. <laughs> I have no right. idea. Give me a hint. Imagine, imagine 1995. 95. Console, arcade. No, handheld. Handheld. Black and white. Okay, Game Boy then. <laughs> right, right. Hold on. A Nintendo property. Oh, is this um, is that Wario World or Wario's World of Wario Land? No, but you're right to think it's one of those secondary and tertiary characters. He's he's kind of pink. Oh, Kirby. That's right. But what's he doing in Kirby's Dream Land Two? Uh, sucking up dudes and blowing them out. <laughs> 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 yeah, I like Kirby games. I bet I have this. Wait, is this a? You said it was a. Oh yeah, I do have this. It's on the. Um, yeah. it's on the Switch's uh, NES service thing. It's in there. Oh, is it really? Yeah, you can play it there. It's in. It's not in black and white though. They have a colorized version of it. But yeah, yeah. people playing that the other day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, that's cool. I love Kirby games. You like Kirby? I like Kirby. I love Kirby. I didn't like Kirby back in the day, but as I got as I've gotten older, I'm kind of a kind of like the Kirby. Yeah, Kirby's uh, stupid, and I love it. It's yeah, stupid. I like how he's, he's a very simple idea. It's like, what are you going to do? I'm going to suck these stuff up. And what's going to happen then? I'm going to get their powers. And I'm a big ball of pink. Yeah, I'm a pink ball. I got big dumb eyes. Like, <laughs> Kirby's cool. There's nothing wrong with Kirby. He is. He's easy. He's a, lunch, he's a vacuum cleaner. He's, he's fun to draw. <laughs> he's fun to draw and yeah. screw around with an art. Yeah. All right, well, good call there. I like that one. And now, ladies and gentlemen, this... And now- Time for us to do an email. This is an email from Jacob Yenters. It's a very interesting name, isn't it? Yenters, if that's real. Yenters. Anyway, Jacob says, Dear Scott and Brian, I have been going through a thing lately where I have so many games, I don't know what to play. It sometimes takes me 45 minutes just to choose. Do you guys have this problem 
Love this show so much, so don't ever stop. Jacob Yenters. Well, Jacob, um, the answer is 100% yes. I totally get this. Mm -hmm. We live in an age of embarrassingly amount of choices when it comes to video games. It's insane. And so, and especially even more with all of these services that are coming about, we're seeing something that we used to only think that we had to worry about with Netflix, which is like, is Netflix? I don't know what I want to watch. Right. Now you don't know what you want to play. And you might think to yourself, oh man, I'm getting that thing from Microsoft for only five bucks a month. Sweet. I'll use that all the time. But then everything else is competing for your head. Uh, plus all the other entertainment options. Like, it's a weird time to be alive. <clears throat> Just go look at the endless pit that is the Switch store alone. And your mind will just be reeling as to how much stuff there is. <clears throat> That's not even to mention all the stuff you already have that you're struggling to pick out and play. I go through this all the time. So you're not alone. I don't know if it's good or bad, but I think Ooh, I prefer... You're not alone. I should play that. I think I, pre <laughs> I prefer... Um, I prefer the choice, I think, over less choice, though. You know what I mean? Like, right. I, I agree. And, um, you know, I had this problem... Uh, a couple of years ago because I wasn't really doing services then but I had a lot of games I had purchased over the years and so I I started using uh, what was called Play Night and I don't know if they still have it out there but I, I did a it's, it's a uh, you, can you can catalog all the games you have and what I would do is I would catalog them and then I would put them in genres and I think you can do this with Steam as well and so I would put things like if it was from 2016, I would put a 2016 folder. That way I would go, okay, I'm gonna play something fairly new and I only want it to be from 2016 forward. And then I kind of narrowed my list down quickly. Just boop, 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 boop. I can see that. And so, yeah, kind of like going like going out to eat for lunches and stuff with friends. You know, mm -hmm. if, you, if you just start throwing out restaurants, you're never gonna get there. So you just start going, let's talk food genres. Yeah. Burger pizza salad and then you can get into you know the more fine details yeah no i like it that's i like where your head's at there uh it's a good idea i i'm <laughs> i had this problem the other day what usually ends up happening is i go oh i've got 20 things to play i'll just play wow <laughs> or i got 20 things to right, play i'll right, just play yeah. diablo 3 i often i often land on the blizzard side of things when i don't know what i want to do and I don't know how they became that for me. They just did. And I'm sure there's a lot of people that feel that way too. But anyway, great. Well, when you don't want to really, I mean, video games require us to sometimes stretch a little bit and learn, uh, you know, new gameplay and uh, new mechanics. And when you go back to Blizzard, I mean, it's just, you know, all the lore and you know, all the mechanics. And it's just, I just want to play for a few minutes. Yeah. It's hard to. I have so many games I want to play. Like, I'm just thinking right now, what would I want to play right now? I, I want to play No Man's Sky right now. I want to play No Man's Sky every minute of the day, every day, but I know I can't. I don't know what mine is right now. I think it's this, uh, I think it's SteamWorld Heist. I think that's what's getting me. It's mm. scratching an itch, and that's usually where I gravitate. Anyway, let us know, Jacob, how it goes for you. <laughs> the, you gravitate to the itches? Yeah, I gravitate right to the itch. And yeah. then I scratch it. Yeah. That's where the, you know how gravity yeah. works. You've been there. It's science, man. It's proven. Uh, <laughs> all right. Your own, uh, your emails come to us at boopshow at gmail.com. That's boopshow at gmail.com. You can leave us a voicemail at 801 471 We'd be uh, glad to hear from you, of course. Uh, it's going to do it for the show. Now, here's the deal. Right after this, we're giving away some codes. In particular, we have yeah. one, two, three, four, five, six codes. No, five codes. Ooh. Five codes. Yep, these are from Brian. Oh, hi. Our good buddy here, who's being very generous with these codes, so thank you for that. Uh, oh, you know what we didn't talk about? Does what? Does hearing that the Oculus Quest will come with this link option so that you can use a USB-C cable to connect your uh, Quest to your PC in the same way you would a regular Rift, so now it can be both? I it's love that. The, uh, dude, yeah. I'm so excited. I'm, I'm so very excited. excited. That's just an amazing thing they're doing. I can't believe they're doing that. Oh, my gosh. We'll talk about that That's more good. as we get closer to that because I think that is super, super, super duper rad. All right. Um, anyway, we're going to give away codes. So stick around, and you might be the winner of one of these codes today right here on the show from Brian's personal stash. Oh, yeah. Our I website had them in my pocket, <laughs> and then I pulled them right out and said, "Here you go." That's right. Our website is frogpants.com/boop. You can send us emails at boopshow@gmail.com. Follow us on Twitter at boopshow. The Brian Dunaway and Scott Johnson. 
and stick around, like I said, for some sweet, sweet giveaways right here on the show. I think that's going to do it for us. Brian, one final piece of wisdom from you before I hang up on everyone. What do you got? Oh, sure. Play Untitled Goose Game, you chump. Chump? I thought you were going to say Honk. chode. I expected chode, but chump's fine. I'll take chode. Chump. I'll take chode. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound right, does it? All right. Anyway, I'll thank you all. Chode. Yeah, don't ever take, never take the chode. Uh, be good, everyone. We'll see you on the other side. Goodbye. This show is part of the Frog Pants Network. Frog Pants Network. Get more shows like this at frogpants.com. I don't like steam. Yeah.